I'm a Michigan guy. How in the world did you and Lloyd Carr hook up those years ago? It was awesome as a Wolverine fan to see you in the colors. I actually, I, sitting here right now, I can't remember the first time that we met, mm -hmm. me and Lloyd. But um, he had come down to Australia. I'd recently taken over uh, control of the South Sydney Rabbitohs Rugby League side and a National yeah. Rugby League team uh, in 2006. And I was talking to him about it one day and I said, you know, would you feel like, coming down and talking to the players and, and the coach because we had a very young coach at that point. And he did, and he made a great impression. And a couple of years later, I was um, I was shooting State of Play in Washington, D.C., and Michigan had had a terrible start to the season, you know. And uh, just in case the listeners don't know, that the South Sydney Rabbitohs is the oldest team in rugby league. It was formed in 1908. The symbol of the, the, the team is a rabbit. Okay. Okay. Uh, the rabbit O actually refers to a job in the late uh, 1800s of being a rabbit color because the state of New South Wales was overrun by rabbits. But it's a very, very long story. But mm -hmm. you could make a living shooting rabbits, selling the pelt to the government, and then selling the meat on the street. Okay. And the guy selling the meat on the street would walk around yelling out rabbit O, and the cooks would come out and buy it, you know? So, uh, and a number of the team originally, when they first started playing, that was their job. They were rabbit colors, you know? Anyway, so I was in uh, Washington 2008. Michigan had had a, a terrible start to the season. Notre Dame game was uh, coming up. I just reached out to him and said, you know, how are you doing? <laughs> and he said, I'm doing really bad, <laughs> you know? And I said, oh, yeah, man, I've been seeing, seeing the scores. And he goes, where are you? I said, I was in Washington. And uh, he said, can you make the game? You know, it was coming up that weekend. And, you know, it's 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 not a short distance from DC no. to to uh Ann, Ann Arbor. Arbor. So yeah. um I uh I said, Well, technically I can, <laughs> you know. And so he said, I need you, big bunny. <laughs> <laughs> so I got on the plane and people don't understand this. People assume that I do this with sports teams all the time because I'm a sports team owner or whatever. And I went to the dressing room and, you know, normally if I talk to players, I, I try to, um, I don't try and bring the roof down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't try to do that sort of speech. I, I yeah. try to say something, you know, thoughtful that, that may motivate them on a very simple level. You know, I don't try and be theatrical or, you know. Um, and even with my own team, I've never done this, but I walked into that changing room and there was just this sort of strange energy in, in, in the room, right? Everybody was a little bit afraid, you know, and it was odd. And I just, I'd never done this before, but it just came to me in the moment. And I just asked all the boys to start tapping their chests, you know, and those are pads you've got in American football. Yeah, it's yeah. a really cool slapping sound, yeah. you know. So it, it sounded like Roman soldiers marching. And I just started speaking over that, right? And I actually went full gladiator. I went right up to the point of... And I said, I, you know, and I said, when I bring my hand down, I want you to stop, you know, because I got them to go louder and louder and louder with the slapping, you know, and they're doing, and I brought my hand down, the silence was deafening. And in that silence, I said, repeat after me, strength and honor. And the boys did it back. <laughs> and then they went out just hunting for big game, man, you know, <laughs> that had that terrible start to the season, but they went out and they smashed Notre Dame, smashed them. You know, and I'm like, the game was sort of over in the first 15, 20 minutes because the, the dominance, you know what I mean? And they just, and they kept plowing and plowing through. And then for the rest of the year, they had a pretty good year. But, you know, so me and Lloyd, for some reason, I can't remember the very first time we met, sure. but it was just one of those things when you meet somebody who that you connect with or click with, you know, and he's a wonderful man. And uh, I learned uh, a lot from him and he was such a great teacher, you know. Yeah, uh, I mean, that is amazing. So you went full Maximus for the Wolverines is what you're saying. Yeah. No, done that before for anybody else. <laughs> I don't know where it came from, you know. And the thing is, I was playing that character in State of Play. Mm -hmm. So, or was it? Was it State of Play or was a Body of Lies? Actually, I think it's even worse. I think it was oh. Body of Lies. Okay. Right? So I had this really messed up hairdo because I was trying to grow my hair. Because originally, when I was doing Robin Hood with Ridley Scott, he said you have to have long hair. Yeah. So I grew my hair for two years, kept hiding it under wigs on other films only to get to a couple of weeks before production and really went, nah, I don't like the long hair, chop it off. <laughs>
Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.